The Islamic prophet Muhammad in his hadith would occasionally claim that certain entities out, outside of this world looked exactly like something earthly and take the form of something earthly, or that something earthly was a devil. Muhammad stated that Jibril, the angel Gabriel, sometimes came in the form of a man he knew. Uh, you can find this in Sunan an Nasai. Al Harith bin Hisham asked the Messenger of Allah, How does the revelation come to you? He said, Like the ringing of a bell, and when it departs, I remember what he, the angel, said, and this is the hardest on me, and sometimes he, the angel, comes to me in form of a man and gives it to me. As a side note, Muhammad also said, Satan appears as a familiar man to deceive people. This is found in Sahih Muslim. In the introduction, <clears throat> Abu Sa'id, yada yada yada, on the authority of such and such, said, Indeed, Satan will appear in the form of a man, and he will come to the people, narrating to them false hadith, and they will then depart. Then a man among them will say, I heard a man whose face I recognize, but I do not know his name, narrating such and such. So the devil takes the form of a man, says, oh, Muhammad said this, and the people will believe it. Perhaps Muhammad had some similar episode happen where, where Satan took the form of Jibril, which I find hard to believe because I don't think Muhammad actually met Jibril. Ironically, Muhammad also said that the devil can t cannot take the form of Muhammad, which is hard to believe. Muhammad had a male friend named Dihya. Muhammad said the angel Jibril would sometimes take the appearance of Dihya. Narrated by Abu Uthman, I got the news that Jibril came to the Prophet while Umm Salama was present. Jibril started talking to the Prophet and then left. The Prophet said to Umm Salama, Do you know who he was? Do you know who it was? Or similar question. She said, it was Dihya, a handsome person among the companions of the Prophet. Later on, Umm Salama said, by Allah, I thought it was none but Dihya, until I heard that the Prophet uh, talking about Jibril in his sermon. The sub asked Abu Uthman, from where have you heard this narration? He replied, from Usama bin Zaid. And this is found in, this next one's found in Sahih Muslim. It is narrated on the authority of Jabir that the Messenger of Allah said, There appeared before me the apostles, and Moses was among men, as if he was one of the men of the people of Shanua. And I saw Jesus, son of Mary, and I saw nearest in resemblance with him was Urwa bin Masaud. And I saw Ibrahim, Abraham, and I see your companions much in resemblance with him. That is his personality. And I saw the angel Gabriel. And I saw Dihya, nearest in resemblance to him. But the narrate, but in the narration of Ibn Rum, it was Dihya bin Khalifa. Fascinating that Muhammad even claimed to know what Jesus Christ looked like. Continuing on, the account of Gabriel appearing... Uh, and having a witness of one of his wives also appears in Sahih Muslim. Salman reported, In case it lies in your power, don't be one to enter the bazaar first and the last one to get out because of that, because of that, because there is a bustle and the standard of Satan is to sit there. He said, I was informed that Jibril came to the Allah's apostle, and there was with him Umin Salama, and he began to talk with him. He stood up, whereupon Allah's messenger said to Um Salama, Do you know who he was? Who was he, and what did he say? She said, He was Dihya. He reported Um Salama having said, By Allah, I did not deem him, but only he, Dihya until I heard the address of Allah's Apostle informing him about us. He, the narrator, said, I said to Uthman, from where did you hear it? He said, from Usima bin Zaid. As noted above, Muhammad claimed to know what Jesus Christ looked like. He looked like Urwa bin Mas'ud. Muhammad is likely trolling his followers, trying to see how gullible they were, trying to see how faithful they were. 
trying to see if uh, they believe that the prophet could be deceiving them. Or perhaps he was just trying to claim knowledge that only a prophet could possibly know to try to boost his own credentials. We see other false prophets like Joseph Smith doing this too, claiming to see John the Baptist and getting other people to say they also saw John the Baptist or other heavenly beings. It was most likely nonsense. And stuff like this is the reason why uh, Naptal repeated this to Muhammad's mockers. <clears throat> and the reason why Muhammad called Naptal a devil. Granted, angels can take the form of anything they want. It is nonetheless very convenient that the angel Jibril just happens to take the form of a man everybody knows. Telling people that Jibril looks like someone familiar to help Muhammad uh, convince people that he is not making things up. By waiting for Dihya to leave and telling his wife that it was Jibril and not Dihya, or waiting until a sermon much later, is to help other people, is to help convince other people that someone else saw Jibril. It wasn't only Muhammad. So, so there's witnesses that Muhammad is not crazy, and that Muhammad definitely can't be making it up. Because after all, there's a witness. How, how could you have a witness and make things up? Rather than the witness being able to actually interrogate uh, Dihya or Jibril, he makes her an annoying witness, preventing any investigation from occurring. Concerning Muhammad saying black dogs are devils, uh, it was narrated uh, from Abdullah bin Samit from Abu Dar that the Prophet said, The prayer is severed by a woman, a donkey, and a black dog. If there is not something like that, like the handle on a saddle in front of a man, I said to Abdullah, I said, Abdullah said, What is wrong with a black dog and not a red one? And he, Abu Dar, said, I asked the Messenger of Allah the same question, and he said, The black dog is a shaitan. Then we see a similar narration by Hafs, where Muhammad says, The black dog is a devil. This is found in Sunan Abi Dawood. <clears throat> the previous one is found in Sunan Ibn Majah. Concerning Muhammad saying the black man just happened to look like the devil, we see uh, this found in Ibn Itzak's life of Muhammad. From Bin Dabaya, Bin Zaid, yada yada yada. Then it says, Naptal bin Harith, al Harith. I, I have heard that it was of him that the apostle said, whoever looks, whoever wants to see Satan, let him take a look at Nabtal bin al Harith. He was a sturdy black man with long flowing hair and flamed eyes and dark reddy cheeks. He used to come and talk to the apostle and listen to him, and then carry what he, he had said to the hypocrites. It was he who said, Muhammad is all ears. If anyone wants to tell him anything, he believes it. God sent down concerning him, and of them are those who annoy the, the prophet, and he is all and say he is all ears. Say, good ears for you. He believes in God and trusts the believers and is a mercy for those of you who believe. And those who annoy the apostle of the apostle of God, for them there is painful punishment. This is alluding to Surah 9, 61. Muhammad just, did not just stop at claiming what Jibril, Jesus, Satan, or the demons looked like. He also said he knows what the Quran will look like. It will take the form of a man. This is this uh, hadith is rated Hassan. It's found in Sunan Ibn Majah. It was narrated on the authority of Ibn Buraida that his father told that that the Messenger of Allah said, The Quran will come on the day of resurrection like a pale man. He will say, I am the one that kept you awake at night and made you thirsty during the day. As mentioned before, Muhammad claimed to know the element of God's appearance. For instance, Allah has two right hands, which is absurd, but nonetheless, Islamic preachers claim this is literal. The, the, the Prophet said, those who are just and fair will be with God most high on thrones of light, at the right hand of the most merciful, those who are just in their rulings and their dealings with their families, and those who, of whom they are in charge. Muhammad, one of the narrators, said in his hadith, 
and both of his right uh, both of his hands are right hands this is found in Sudan on Nasai but anyway this is Berhane Selassie Orthodox Catholic one on YouTube calling into question Muhammad's claims of knowing what people look like and especially the fact that uh, the angel Gabriel just happened to look just like Dihya, just happened to take the exact form of Dihya, and nobody knew this until after the fact. Anyway, this is Orthodox Catholic one.